Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to show you how you can use your essential oils and fragrance oils correctly when making your skincare, hair care uh, products. Um, almost everyone has made mistakes at some point, myself included, when adding or using essential oils or fragrance oils. So I'm just going to share some tips and uh, tools that you can use so you can calculate um, the usage rates correctly when wanting to use essential oils or fragrance oils in your skincare hair care formulations so let's jump right in um, if this is your first time stopping by my name is Esther and I make DIY natural hair and skincare videos So if you make hair, skincare products, body care products, you probably want them to smell nice. You want them to smell amazing when using them. Um, so that's where um, essential oils, fragrance oils come in. Um, you want to use them the right way when scenting your products. Um, even in soaps, body washes, um, the chances are that that you're going to use some type of essential oil or fragrance oil so the key is to use them correctly so what are essential oils they are basically the concentrated plant extracts um, of course they smell really strong they smell amazing um, you have great examples like your lavender peppermint tea tree rose essential oil and much more while fragrance oils are, are made in the lab using both natural and man-made ingredients. So with both of these, you want to be careful when using them. You want to use them correctly. So one of the main tools I use is the essential oil calculator. All you need to do is just open up uh, Google and type in essential oil calculator or just EO calc and it's going to pull up um, the website and that's going to help you calculate your essential oil um, amounts so it's the EO calc um, website so this is so helpful when um, calculating your essential oils usage rates it tells you the right amount to use so I'm going to show you how to use this you want to start off uh, choosing the combination of essential oils you want to use. So for this example, I'm using lavender essential oil and tea tree essential oil. And after you've chosen your combination of oils, you want to make sure uh, that it adds up to 100%. Um, so however you want to do your blend, you want to make sure it adds up to 100%. I like to have more lavender in my formulation so I'm using it at 80% and then 20% tea tree. So once you've done that you're going to move on and you're going to choose um, the amount um, that you're making so the total amount of product that you're making you're going to put that amount there um, and then you're also going to select the type of product that you're making. Um, usually it gives you a drop down um, with different options. I don't know why it didn't show up here, but once you select your product um, that you're making, in this example, I'm making a facial product. So once you select that, you're just going to select give me usage rates. And this is what um, you should see once you've put in your um, amounts. So it's telling you that you have safe usage rates and that your blend is safe um, to use. Um, so if you go down further, it's also going to explain um, the exact amounts. It's going to tell you, um, it's going to give you a range from light to strong. So depending on how strong you want the scent to be, you would use the amounts um, listed here accordingly. So if you want a light uh, scent, you would use it at 0.2% or 0.4%. And of course, if you want something much stronger, then you would go up to as high as 1%. But of course, with facial products, you want to be careful. You don't want to use a very strong percentage because the skin on your face is much more sensitive than the rest of your body. Uh, but this is what you should see. 
Next, I'm going to show you another example where an essential oil exceeded the recommended amount. So I'm going to use a combination of basil, uh, cedar wood, essential oil, and rosemary essential oil. And I'm going to have my combination 70% um, for uh, basil, 15% each for cedar wood and rosemary essential oil. And still the same process, I'm going to put that in. It totals up to 100%. And then I'm going to put the total amount of product I'm making. And I'm going to choose the product type, which is also a facial product. And it brings you up to this page again, telling you you have safe usage rates. But if you go further down the page, you will notice that some areas are marked in red. So when you see the green section, it basically tells you that you are good to use um, those essential oils at that amount. But the red section is telling you that you have exceeded the IFRA maximum recommended usage rate. So who's the IFRA? Who are these people? So they are basically the industry that represents the fragrance industry worldwide. So they are the ones that developed the IFRA standards to manage safe usage rates for fragrance. So it's very important to comply with their recommendations. Um, you don't want to use a fragrance or essential oil incorrectly. So you can adjust the um, combination of your essential oil blend, adjust the percentage amounts. Um, if you want to um, avoid getting the red um, warning sign, um, sometimes you are just going to get that um, red label, um, but you can still make uh, changes. You can tweak your essential oil blend, which is what I did here. I adjusted my basil from 70% to 30%, and then I adjusted my cedar wood, rosemary essential oil blend. And um, once I put that in, and it um, calculated every um, the essential oil amount. I still had um, a small portion of a red warning sign, but it was much better. So it did adjust the usage rates um, to a better amount that is much safer for you to use in your formulation. So once again, just play around with your essential oil blends and just find a um, combination that works best for you. So moving on to fragrance oils, um, most suppliers usually will have um, a fragrance oil calculator on their website. So I'm using Wholesale Supplies Plus and I'm just going to select um, a fragrance. I'm just going to select um, one of their fragrances here. I'm going to use um, their blackberries and cream um, fragrance oil just to show you this example. So when you select um, your fragrance oil, it's going to give you all the information um, for that fragrance. It's going to give you um, an IFRA um, guide. It's going to tell you um, the percentage or the amount for that fragrance oil. So if you look down here on their website, you're going to see an IFRA maximum skin exposure level. This is so important to look out for on your supplier website. So this is basically the maximum amount of fragrance oil that can come in contact with your skin. So usually a lot of the supplier sites, I want to say most of them will have some type of IFRA guideline. So make sure you pay attention to that if you are buying fragrance oils or essential oils from them. So I'm going to go down the bottom of the page to the um, fragrance calculator. This is a very handy tool to use. It's going to give you the exact amount of fragrance oil. Um, it also does this for essential oils as well, flavor oils. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to take me to this page and it's going to walk you through the steps. So just put in the type of product you're making, choose the oil you're using, and then you're going to enter the scent um, that you're using and also the amount of product you're making. So once you put everything in there, just calculate and it's going to give you the exact amounts to use.
and the calculator gives a recommended usage rate of 3% for this fragrance oil. Um, so you can use up to 3% in this body wash. Also pay attention to the maximum IFRA rate, which is 6%. And that is the maximum amount that can come in contact with your skin. So please pay attention to that when you're formulating your um, products. I'm going to give you another example um, using um, Nurture Soap. They are a great supplier website. So I'm just going to choose a fragrance oil from their list. And the information here is so detailed on their website. So I'm just going to select the Awaken fragrance oil, go down to the middle, and then I'm going to select the fragrance information. And then I'm going to click on the IFRA link and it's going to take me to their um, IFRA um, information page. It is super detailed. It has a lot of information that can honestly get overwhelming. Um, but on the IFRA uh, page, it gives you all the different categories for products. Um, depending on what product you're making, it has the IFRA percentage. So it tells you this is the maximum percentage for that product. So you just have to choose your category. They have the listing. So if you're making a um, rinse off product, facial product, cream, it has the category and the percentage. So it's a very good website to check out. Check out their IFRA uh, page. It's very, very helpful if you're making your products. So going back to their fragrance um, information page, once you select that, um, you'll see their recommended um, uh, usage rates for lotion they're recommending 1.4 percent and then for soap they're recommending six percent so that's um, their own usage rates usage uh, percentage amounts that they are recommending and then going further down the page um, they have their fragrance calculator very handy tool very easy to use and it guides you and walks you through the steps so you're just going to select um, the fragrance oil, you're going to type out the name, um, what you're making, how much product you're making. Once you enter all that information in, just hit the submit button and it's going to come up with um, the amounts of fragrance, um, the usage rates that they are recommending um, from light, medium, strong. It's going to give you the results. And then you're just going to choose what works best for you in your formulation. And here are some final tips. You always want to follow the recommended usage rates, amounts for essential oils, fragrance oils. You always want to dilute these oils before applying directly to your skin. You never want to apply any essential oil or fragrance oil directly to your skin. Always do a patch test to make sure you don't have any irritation to the fragrance oils or essential oils. And that is it guys. I hope you found this video helpful, useful. Please don't forget to subscribe if you've not. And also please like this video and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos I upload. And don't forget to take advantage of my 50% off sale on my website. And also sign up for one of our beginner skincare classes. Everything will be in the description box and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.